Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is uh, by request. Someone requested that I do a video for the Need for Speed High Stakes game. Uh, so I'm uh, going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, get that set up and running on Windows 10. Uh, I have not tried it on a Windows 11 machine, but uh, I know it does work with Windows 10. Uh, so let's go ahead. If you're interested, you're going to need a copy of the, uh, you know, of the uh, version of the uh, CD for computers. Uh, you know, regardless if you have the uh, English or the UK one, I believe the other one has a different name, but uh, it should still work because we're going to need some files just directly off the CD. So let's go ahead and open up your uh, CD drive on the Windows Explorer here so you can see your CD. Now on this one, you're going to need uh, two folders out of here. So let me verify real quick. It's going to be uh, both of these folders named here. So you're going to need to copy data and save data folders from the uh, Need for Speed for, you know, CD. So let's go ahead and just copy those. So we're going to do data and save data. And we're going to put that in a folder that you've already created to put the game in. So this does not need a physical installation of the game. We just need to paste those two folders right over here. So let's go ahead and copy those. And we're going to paste that into the directory over here on your right side. And then once we do that, go ahead and open up your browsers. We're going to navigate to this uh, first website. Now, do these patches in the order that I have. It should uh, work better for you if you follow you know, the video to the T so you don't have any errors. All right, so we have those folders in there. So the next thing we're going to do is download this patch. You just click on that and download that to your downloads folder. Then we're going to navigate to the second page here. And this is the silent patch. We're going to scroll down and your download button is right there. So go ahead and download that one also. And then the third item we're going to need is this uh, right here. If it comes up in a different language, don't worry. I, I just did the Google Translate to get it to show English. But just scroll down here and it's going to be this uh link right here that you're going to want to download so go ahead and get all those three downloaded to your computer then we can go ahead and just either minimize that or close it and then once we have that we're going to go into the folder that has the files so just go ahead and extract those to their own separate folders so we can go ahead and get rid of these and unmount it there you, you can unmount it because you're not going to need the image up you know once you follow the video so let's go ahead and just extract all of these three to their own separate folder so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and do the uh, modern patch so go ahead and copy all of those and just paste them in the folder you're going to get a message to overwrite so just go ahead and go ahead and tell it to go ahead and you know replace the files once you've done that, go ahead into the second folder. So the second, the next one we want to do is the silent patch. So go in there, copy those, do the exact same thing, paste that into the folder. Then last but not least, here we're going to do the setup NP. And all you're going to need to copy is just that little uh, file right there with the gear on it. Go ahead and paste that in your system. Now, once you've done all of that, you should basically be set up to get the game up and running. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit this first. Now on this one, I suggest you follow the options uh, just as yes, you see me do on the screen here. So you can go ahead and leave all this stuff at default. Just go ahead and hit save or close that out. Then we're going to look at language. You, you know, can pick whatever language you want. The graphics, uh, you can choose to bypass the movies by clicking on that. The trash driver, you want to leave that at NGLIDE. NGLIDE does have better performance for the game versus DirectX. Uh, if you have to do that, if you want, you can do it from here. I highly suggest you use the end glide. Uh, so once you have that, just make sure you have that checked. You're going to go to end glide again. If you click on here, it's going to use whatever native uh, desktop resolution you're using. So if you're running, you know, 1366 by 768, it'll do that or 1020 by uh, 1920 by 1080, whatever you're using on your desktop. If you have this clicked, it is going to use that same resolution. And then you can enable in vertical, uh, vertical synchronization right here. And now this other stuff, you can go ahead and leave it as is. And then go ahead and you should be able to click save and run. 
it may or may not launch directly for you if it doesn't just go ahead and launch it through the game executable here and as you can see loaded right up to the uh, load screen just go ahead and put whatever you name you want on there click black and you can go through the options by clicking here you can do your audio, your controllers, cameras, graphics. You can do all that setting right here. This you can ignore it because it's going to take the uh, setting that you placed earlier, you know, from the uh, MP setup. Now you can still, you know, choose to change this stuff here. So these will take effect if you change them. You got your advanced settings right here. I highly recommend you do not enable triple buffer. Leave that off. Once we're done, we should be able to go right in there and launch the game here real quick. There we are, so I'm running with the default settings on the uh, controller, but as you can see, the game is working fine here. So that is, it is a super simple setup for that one. So we'll go ahead and call this a done video. If you guys have any questions, as always, just go ahead and post them on the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And with that, we will go ahead and see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.